Good morning. So uh, today, um, wrapping up on Snippy Pixie's uh, package library. Um, initial version, just to kind of get things going uh, before we start working on the um, daemon and CLI. Uh, so I think I've got a couple of to do's in there that I need to sort out. So, ah, I've done that one. So, yep, yesterday um, I fixed that problem, so that's gone. And then we have here, uh, once last used can be updated, test returned order changes okay All right well that's a different test that shouldn't be in there that shouldn't should not be in get um so we have an update snippet here Let's um, no, I'll take that to do out and we'll move that down here because it's an easy test we can do right here. So the scale snippets. Okay, so the time in here will be just to zero. So we should be able to test that. Because we haven't changed it. So we'll do a second test here. So we've already tested that. The last used on the updated matches the original that we got. So it hasn't changed when we did an update. But now we want to make a change. So we'll do a quick test here. To make sure that this version of last used is correct before we change that. Um, so Last you uh, updated snippet last used date time unchanged. Now we will take.
here we'll just say just update body So I'm going to update the snippet. So snippet dot last used is going to be equal to at time we'll do now. Oh, let's not do that. Let's do this first so that we know what we've got. Oops. Time now in UTC. So we've got a reference to the time um, and then we're just going to set that to it. Then we're going to update that snippet. Make sure nothing goes wrong. Get the updated snippet again. Make sure there's no error. Um, and then make sure it has changed. Okay, so in theory, we skeleton up some snippets. Uh, we get the one which has the abbreviation SP backtick. Make sure it's okay. Make sure it matches our expectation of that skeleton one. fact. Let's take this and let's do this up here. Some of this comments, eh? Comments are never up to date, right? So, returned snippet last used should be zero. I'll just leave it as that for the moment. So then we update the body. Then check it. Now at this point, we haven't updated last used, so it should still be zero as just checked. Now we update last used. Change the snippet. Update it. Make sure that works. Go get it. 
check there's no error there. And make sure the updated snippet last used matches the expected, which is actually back to being snippet dot last year so we should keep that because that's the expectation okay so in theory run that. So it passed. Update snippet. Let's run them all. There we go. So we've just passed all the tests, including the new um, update snippet test of the date time. Cool. Um, and now we have no more to do's. Good stuff. Commit that. So we are now, uh, let's change will test that last used date time can be updated okay so while we're here then we should probably quickly test that the abbreviation itself can be updated. So we'll keep those as is for the moment. And then we will tack on I'll just take a copy of that. So we don't need that. So, so we will update abbreviation. And we will change it to well we're doing snippet pixel rules now. So let's do SPR backtick. Um, so we should not be able to get an abbreviation of SP. We should test that. So let's do, so when we do that, it's just going to return nil nil. So 
that's correct. But um, can I test it? No, no. I guess is equal. Will that work for nil? Soon find out. Updated snippet. Uh, nil. So that's like, okay. A little explanation there. Um, SP backtick no longer exists. Now I'll do the real McCoy. So we do SPR. We should be able to just nickel these up here. Yeah. Because it should still work as normal. So the updated snippet should match the new abbreviation. Uh, we're still using Snippy Pixie rules. The ID should be unchanged, which is important. And of course the last used should be unchanged from the previous version, which we updated back here. Okay, so we're just mutating the same two records, but via the database. So hopefully that works. Shift, I can't see my keyboard. There we go. And that worked. Good stuff. Let's just test that that fails if we do. Let's make that X. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because I didn't test it's not now. Quite a nasty way to fail though, isn't it? it back, run it again, everything's hunky-dory, okay. Another test done. Uh, test that. Abbreviation can't be updated. That's great. Okay. Right, so I think we're at a point where we can probably start thinking about how we're actually going to use this package. Um, one thing I did want to quickly do is make sure I noticed that in here I can do a coverage run. Run with coverage. I'm going to quickly do that. 
Okay, so everything passed. 79.2% in the package. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, I guess the green and whatever's coverage. All right. Okay, so I'm not covering the failures. Failures, failures, more failures. Yeah, not getting the failure conditions. Yeah. I did cover all the uh, different migrations there, though. I think. Yeah. So that's good. All the different versions are covered. Ah, except for when I don't have data. I should fix that. Because that was actually... Right, because I was hitting that a lot, because I was never getting down here. And then when I did... We started having problems, so I should probably test that. So, yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. More error conditions are not being hit. And I'm not testing get snippets ending ending with abbreviation. Okay, I'm not testing when when nothing matches. And get snippets when nothing matches. Is our oh, snippets? Okay. I guess I could just finish that off. So, get snippets, ending, get snippets, that's right, yeah, yeah. And migrating data, no data. But presumably, testing that, okay. <clears throat> yeah, because I've only just actually I've just implemented that. All right, so let's do quick um, test manager get snippets. Well, 
Well, that's interesting because I should be testing that then. Or maybe it's picking up on the fact that I'm doing the not found here, but not here. So this is um put a little comment in here. Get all snippets. Better do that. Actually no, I think I'll do that. Um Okay, let's do a quick test of that then. do get snippets Um, and then we will go grab this because we don't want to scale everything. Then I basically just want to do that, but expect nothing back. Yeah. Expecting 
Actually, let's click to the result. To be nil. Do a quick um, coverage test. See if that's done that. No. Why? Okay, can I see what happens? Okay, so we're in the function. Search is empty. So the new query is select everything from snippets, order by, blah, and then we run it. Error is nil. Okay. Surely that should be a, a, a no rows. Snippers is now. Well, that's interesting. Not expect that. Why would it be? Doing that so. A 
Have I got a test switch? Okay. Let's do this one then. Um, debug, ding my dear, and there we go. Step in. So, error is nil. We should have length. We are getting back a query which is looking for something there. Rows. Uh, it's nil again. Hmm. Right out of time. Well, that's not what I expected. Docs. Delivery. Don't see variables for right return by scan and query query row doesn't return a row. Such a case query row returns a placeholder row value that defers this error until a scan. Ah. Okay. So that's redundant on the That's interesting. Mm, okay, run out of time for sure now. Right, so that means Well, 
we've already noticed that those is basically empty if we've got nothing so that's kind of redundant there that's gone And that means the same will happen here because that's again a query for rows. So that can go. No wonder it's not ever getting hit. And then what was it? What was the other one? Uh, migrating stuff. Again, that's a query for rows. If I don't have any rows, it's not going to error out. So that's gone. Um, what other coverage issues do we have here then? So all single errors. Okay. So the one that potentially could have a problem is get snippet. So here we're absolutely expecting to do a query row and we've already covered that. It does the scan, we potentially get an error, we deal with it and we've already got a test that covers it. Okay, cool. That's good. So Uh, hold on, breakpoints. Okay, shut that up. Uh, let's get rid of um, none. Okay, good. Right, so let's quickly run a coverage test then. Uh, see what we've got. All pasts. And we've gone up to nearly 82%. And all we've got missing are database errors basically. database and low level errors that we kind of don't expect but we could handle and would be a pain in the butt to actually force in a test. And really not worth it at this stage in the game. So I think we're good. We're done with testing until we start adding new functionality. So smart, right? That's neat. That doesn't test that, that's good. So in this change, we will remove um, uh, no, rows, 
tests that. Okay. Remove. Redundant. And no rows tests. Smart. Okay. Done. All right, I think that's that. Uh, time to get on with my work day. Um, so uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching and uh, take care.